Hi everyone, I'm sitting here on a Catalina 27 sailboat with my awesome friend Meredith Anderson. I am apprenticing on one of her electrical jobs. She usually does diesel engines, but today she's doing an electrical job. And I wanted to tag along because I have been studying for my ABYC electrical certification. I'm hoping to one day transition to wiring boats for a living. And I think that's gonna serve me really well when I am um, solo sailing to distant shores and everyone always needs electrical work no matter where you go. Um, so right now we are, we are installing an AC system on this boat. So I got this started, like I started, I clipped these wires, um, but then Meredith took over cause it's getting kind of late and um i uh she's a much faster i can be <laughs> slow and careful but she's fast and careful <laughs> you'll get there <laughs> um yeah and we're on the clock so so yeah this is this is a job this is real um and then meredith what are you doing now uh, right now i'm wiring in the main ac feed so she's wiring the ac wire from the inlet to the uh, back of the panel and I'll show you what I did. Yeah, so if we come down here, this is inside the boat. This is a Catalina 27, which is like my first boat, which is the boat I sold to Meredith, ultimately. So if you look, if you look back here, um, if you look back here, she's shining a light through this panel, which is cool. I installed this panel, so I cut out the bulkhead and I installed it. Um, so that's been my main job today. Now I'm just kind of sitting back and handing Meredith her tools. She's looking at the wiring diagram because I can tell you where to put them because I just looked at that. So you put the neutral here, you put the hot here, and you put the ground right there. Neutral on top, yeah. neutral's on the top of the double pole breaker. And hot is on the bottom of the double breaker. I forgot my wrench. Yeah. Uh, I have to go to the You car. want me to get you your pliers? Um, no, I want my actual wrenches because I gotta tighten up this too. Oh, okay. Um, you want me to go get it? You wanna sure, get it? Sure, actually. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right, let's go. Uh -oh. So numb. What? Your leg is numb. Yeah. She's clipping zip ties now. Get yourself a pair of flush cutters so you don't cut yourself. Flush cutters. Don't leave it like this. Note to self. Bullshit. Note to self. Get flush cutters. Like actual flush mount cutters. Yeah, that, that'll be nice. Where are your flush mount cutters? What are mine? Where? They're right here. Are, oh, is that what these are? And all yeah. of her tools are snap-on, too. Well, that, does, that doesn't mean anything. Even Harbor Freight sells this exact. They literally look identical Well, then why did this. you get it? Because they weren't mean... in stock at Harbor Freight, oh. and I needed them. Okay. But seriously, worth the money. Okay. I can't stand it when people do that. We're gonna leave ourselves a drip loop. Yeah, you want water to drain off the loop, it'll drip. That's cool. Instead of fill up the box in this boat. Very interesting. It'd be a rather wet boat, so. I'm learning so much today. I think ABYC actually wants you to do drip loops. Like, oh, I haven't got to that part of the book yet. Short, I actually would have run that under. So another reason why Meredith and I have been having a lot of fun is that while we're while one of us is working, the other of us will quiz each other from the ABYC book. Um, so I'm gonna go give Meredith a little quiz. Um, 
see my book this is my book um it's a very expensive book but i'm gonna flip to a page in the book i'm gonna ask Mer meredith a question and i bet she's gonna know the answer no pressure or anything yeah, no, pressure. no pressure at all okay let's see let's just flip to a random page and see if she can answer just some random question all right Okay, that's an e that's easy. Uh, we don't we're not gonna ask her that. A household staple used to clean batteries and neutralize acid is baking soda. But I, I got it right. You got it right. You totally did. What's a battery equalizer? Battery equal like a like a combiner? No, an equalizer. Oh, like as part of a charger to like. Um like balance the batteries where it like where you're equalizing the batteries um not in like, this context that is battery equalization you're right in this context <laughs> they mean a battery equalizer as a control box that distributes mixed voltage oh okay. um but yes that is that yeah you're right um what are the main parts of an alternator the cooling fan the body the windings Okay. What they're asking. Um, I did, I just asked you that. I didn't actually find where it was in the book. <laughs> Sorry. I think, but yeah, the stator. I know it's the stator, the rotor, the windings, and some other stuff too. Yeah. Some other stuff. A voltage regulator sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Depending on the make and model. Pigtails less than how many inches in length are exempt from overcurrent protection requirements? Uh, like, what do you mean pigtail? Like an adapter? Yeah. Like less than six inch? Oh, you're so close. Seven inches. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Heat shrink should be a minimum of how many inches? Two inches. Yay. Okay, let's see the beautiful job you did. That's wonderful, look at that. Look at what she did. I'm the one who stripped them back, but she actually did them. <laughs> okay, and what are these for, Meredith? Those what are for- These? Yeah. Oh, these come from the outlet. So they're gonna go to the panel for the outlet. Mm -hmm. There is one circuit breaker down here that I installed into the panel mm -hmm. for the outlet. This is a very simple boat. It's just a Catalina 27. Yeah, yeah so all he wants for his AC system are outlets. Just an outlet circuit. So we only need one 20 amp breaker. With yeah. 20 amp outlets. We only have two outlets for the whole boat. Yeah, so. And one of the outlets will be dedicated for the battery charger. Yeah, and I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you the, what uh, the system is in there. Here's what Meredith installed earlier before. I got off work and joined her. So she installed a weather weather resistant outlet and a galvanic isolator. And she also installed the AC inlet. You can see it up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, very neatly wired. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that curve. <laughs> Look at the curve. <laughs> <laughs> she did not do this. I just want to be clear. She does not approve of this at all. <laughs> I can't wait she, to rip it out. She hates these things. Yeah. Those are, those are bad news. Yeah. And, and these, as you can see, it's those already wire failed. nuts. Show me, show them those wire nuts. Oh, we both here. hate those. Yeah, I can't wait to. Those are household. They're already falling apart. Yeah, probably half of his DC doesn't work. This one, like this, uh, already came apart. Yeah, <laughs> it's uh -huh. very tight. It was just, you know, attached across. Mm -hmm. I love the. Oh, and check this out. <sighs> Razor blades. Razor blades, all what? All the way down. What do you, oh yeah. That actually it's tore my shirt earlier that's today. Ha yeah, that's a hazard. And that's it's... what the flush cutters are for. Don't do that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If nothing more, at least leave the end on it so it won't hurt anyone. But this, right. this is like, I yeah. can draw blood with those. <laughs> and that, that drives me insane. Yeah. 
it's the little things that really count. I mean, be it meticulous is. and do a good job or someone could really get hurt someday. Yeah. It's like people don't think about that. Yeah. It doesn't have to be for a museum. Yeah, take your time. Do it right. I mean, just don't cut corners with safety. Yeah, you don't want to be the boat that burns everyone else you do, down in the marina. Yeah, you it's, not it. it's not worth it. It's not worth it. So what I didn't show you before is that Meredith, before I got here today, Meredith wired another outlet. This is it, right here. I'm sorry about the bad lighting, but this is it right here. It's in the galley, it's on the side of the galley. And my new blades, I bought brand new blades today. <laughs> What are you muttering to yourself? Oh, I do that. Yeah. It's torch time, kids. Don't burn yourselves. She told me the trick is to move it, move it back and forth so it doesn't concentrate. Yeah, this torch will burn the wiring really easy if you're yeah, not Yeah, so you gotta attention. move it back and forth with very big outer heat shrink now. She just did the inner heat shrink. Now she's going to do the outer heat shrink. This is a very wet boat. So it's worth doing it. But also the type of crimpers I'm using can damage the, yeah. the heat yeah. shrink. So it needs to be done anyways if I choose to use these crimpers, which for me and my grip strength, I really like them. Mm -hmm. um, but... Just if you're doing that, you know, be wary. If you end up accidentally punching a hole, you do need to seal it. Yeah. Regardless, so. <sighs> Something to keep in mind when you're working any wiring on, you know, a boat, period, even if it's indoors. I mean, I know this is a lazarette, but it's amazing. You can see how wet it gets just from condensation and stuff in here. And so, leaving your wires, these nylon connectors and exposed, you know, strands, they're just gonna start rotting away before you know it, and that's not good. That's how you have a lot of resistance. Resistance causes a lot of heat, and heat, as we all know, starts fires, especially with AC. So, don't, don't mess around with AC. AC can kill you. DC is just annoying. Yeah, DC will piss you off. AC will actually kill you. One thing Meredith said I did wrong when I was cutting these wires is that I neglected to ask her where she wanted to cut the hole in the, in the cover box that's going to go on top of this. Because she said that she, if, um, ideally she would have liked to have all of the wires come down from the bottom here and go through one hole in the bottom of the cover box. She would not have done it this way. So now she's going to have to cut two holes. <laughs> but that's just the price of having an apprentice, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. She's <laughs> making me do extra work. Hey, at least you didn't have to cut out for that panel. Well, that's true. At least somebody still had a uh, who had multi tool the right that wasn't stolen. Who had stolen. the multi tools? Yes, I provided the tools. I didn't provide all the tools. Oh yeah, I provided a significant set of tools. She's putting the final touches on it now. After this, we can we can turn on the power and see if it works. Yeah. Right. Yep. Yep. Not that I trust that janky looking hose mm -hmm. or the uh Yeah, we found like a either a propane or a gasoline hose right by the electrical. It's not that's, good. That's gonna They're gonna have to move that. What did I do with my stubby? You just had it. I know. Oh, I stuck it in my pocket. Mm. We are now going to install the insulating back cover 
into the panel. Let's see if she fits without too much modification. This will get wired up later. I don't care nearly as much about the um, LEDs right now. Yeah. Anyway, we just finished the AC install on this boat, and we we're about to try to turn it on for the first time. All right, here we go. I don't think this cord is long enough. Well, that's gonna be a bummer. It's not long enough. Seriously? Seriously. Uh, oh, it's so close. It just has to go. Like, right here. Like, I think if we turn it over, Oh, that's so sad. That's so sad. Hold on, hold on. Save your but I worked so hard just to have some power. That's all I wanted was power. I just wanted just a little bit. Ooh, she's like just gonna reach. Barely. Meredith, don't speak too soon. We just have to go around the spreaders. You gotta try it though. It looked like it was gonna I reach. Was not. We have to go around the spreaders. Oh. Foot. Oh, there we go. See what I tell you. Yeah. All right. Moment of truth. Into the dark boat. Well, not anymore. Hey! Oh what? I can't tell if it's on. I got power at the AC main. I don't know if I can push the... You gotta reset the outlets. Oh, I gotta reset the other outlet. Oh, yeah. Here, feel me? Alright, guys. We've got most of the AC done after this. And Meredith uh, came back to do the finishing touches the next day. And I think Greg is happy with the results. Stay tuned for next time. I don't know when that's gonna be because I have been working seven days a week on splicing orders, so that's where I've been. But hopefully I will see you guys sometime soon. Have a great next few weeks. Bye.